this idea of like, where do I start? Where do I even begin when it comes to building self-esteem? Well, you're doing it. You don't realize you're doing it, but you're doing it. It's in the everyday moments. It's in the fact that you're choosing yourself. You're going to therapy. You're even doing this work where you're like looking back on this dynamic. Okay, what could I have done differently, right? What did I learn? You're going to start to notice when you beat yourself up, notice that self-talk, right? Oh, you chose wrong. You did this again. I can't believe, you know, when all those words start to come up, you have an opportunity in the moment to go, wait, no, pause. That wasn't me failing. That was me learning. So maybe I can change the language I'm using on myself a little bit. And maybe I can sit in the space of what did I learn? How far have I come? Right? Because it's not to say you're not going to sit and reflect. Of course you are. But you want to reflect in a way that feels, again, like giving yourself grace. Because also, we don't learn or grow our self-esteem by being nasty to ourselves, right? And also we can't really provide that kind of love and care for other people if we can't provide it for ourselves. Meaning if I'm in a constant state of beating myself up, usually I'm, that's like my self-talk, then usually that talk kind of trickles out to others too. And so even more reason to go, I need to get really loving <coughs> with myself. I need to really pull it back in and notice the words that I'm using when I speak about mm -hmm. myself to myself. Pay attention to how you speak about yourself.